So, before we start this video, I want to answer you guys about the email situation. You guys asked for my email. I will send you guys to the description box here on this channel. All the links are down there in the description box. And also, my website is officially official. It is officially updated and it is looking sexy as a beast. So, you can check that out. The email is also in there so you can find it there. And with that being said, let's get on this video. So, this is the game changing secret that I want to reveal to you guys right now and it has to do with purpose which we've talked about many times in this channel but it is factual facts bro people overlook purpose people overlook how to find purpose how to gain life momentum how to do so many things and guess what? When we're all young, we don't really know how the world works. We think success is going to be easier than it is. We get hit with reality a little bit. But we make promises to ourselves and we keep it pushing forward, don't we? And guess what? We figure it out as we go. That's the beautiful thing. And the beautiful thing is also is that when there's people like me sitting right here that's been, that, that's been there, that's done it. I can tell you exactly pinpoint how it is, how the journey is, what to expect, and which is what I'm doing right now. So think about this. What do most people do today? They're consumed with other people doing other things, doing this, doing that. But what happens when people move? What happens? When you get backstabbed, what happens when you get into a divorce? What happens when you get into a breakup? Things get very, very messy. We've seen it many times. We've seen, we've been there many times. And this is why purpose is so damn important. And to be fully on top of your game, I'm almost choking on a Gatorade Zero right now. <clears throat> I just have chugged a bottle before I did this video, but. People overlook, bro, purpose. People overlook the importance of really getting to know who you are and what you're about and what you can do and what is possible for yourself. People don't want to find out badly enough what their purpose actually is. People don't want to go after certain things hard enough and put so much time and invest so much time into certain things, but it's what you must do. You must try. God loves a trier. God loves a trier. Without this, life is going to be very bland. You can only hang out with the boys so many times. And sure, it's always gonna be fun when you shoot this shit and do some stuff, but at the same time, it's like, bro, life goes on. You're gonna get married one day, they're gonna get married one day, things are gonna, you get separated, you know what I'm saying? You can't depend on people. This is where purpose comes in. Because you can't depend on people, bro. People's going to leave. People's going to backstab you. Anything can happen. It's not even that they will. It's just that anything can happen. So you need a purpose. You need stuff to do by yourself. That's what's going to lead you through the tougher times. Guess what? When I got backstabbed, when I went through breakups, when, when a whole bunch of bad shit happened all at once, I didn't have a purpose. I had so much talent. So much self-belief, so much confidence at the same time. But I felt so alone, lost. What is going on? How is this happening to me at the time when it was happening? And it's like, what the hell? Looking back, bro, it's absolutely brutal. It's absolutely brutal. And that's where a lot of people find themselves today because they don't have a purpose. They don't have goals. They're not going after certain things. You're not trying hard enough. When your mind is consumed in the moment and you're doing certain things and you're really trying, over time, for one, you get better at what you're doing. You gain more confidence. You start to get results, even more confidence, and you just build, 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 build. And once you get little taste of certain things and certain results, it just skyrockets you even further and further and further and further and further. The hardest part 
is to start. And it's what people do not want to do. You know what helped me? <laughs> you know what helped me get started? On my journey in general? When I was 18, 19? The breakups, the backstabbings, the pain. Because all that pain, the work that I put in, in the gym, mentally, physically, spiritually, did not even compare to that pain that I was going through at the time that was in my soul. It didn't even compare. I got ripped. I was always I was already in shape like an athlete. But I wasn't like ripped. I wasn't just crisp, ripped, perfection. But I made that happen pretty quick. Because of how much pain I felt in my soul at that time. I made it look easier than easy. And people will never understand, bruh. But I understood. Only I knew what I was facing. Only I knew what I was feeling. Only I knew what I was going through. And I was the only one that gave a fuck. Nobody gave a fuck. It's almost like God placed that on me because I had so much talent and I wasn't using it. He's like, you know what, son? I'm going to shatter your heart into pieces. I'm going to send you the best looking female your way and I'm going to get her to look in your eyes a certain type of way and you're going to fall head over heels in love and guess what? This is hilarious, isn't it? And guess what? I'm going to rip your heart of your chest because that's what's going to get you to become the man I need you to be. <laughs> and guess what? After that, I was dipping. I was dodging. But we did what we did. All jokes aside, it hurt like a motherfucker at the time, bro. Right? soul in pain the shit hurts all of a sudden you're backstabbed by friends because you start to self-improve and it's like everything just starts to go to the dump and it's like what is going on and then it drives you even harder and harder and harder and then you, you start having these points to prove and all of a sudden you're on the path to your purpose and it's weird how things work one thing leads to the other to the other to the other to the other and it comes down to you making the right decisions with what you're presented with. That's what it comes down to. I never failed to make the right decisions at the right times when it came to certain things that was coming my way. I always made the right decision. And this is why purpose is so important. Anything could happen. You still got your purpose. Anything on earth could happen. You're still on your purpose. You're still doing what you do. You're still making a difference. You're still growing. You're still grinding. You're still going to the top. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? We back. Because we've been dipping and dodging. But this is what it is, folks. This is why it's so damn important. People overlook it. People don't understand purpose. People don't know how to find purpose. Something else needs to happen to your sorry ass, bro. Something has to hit you so hard it gets you up. And I hope this video does it. I really do. Everyone needs that type of motivation. Everyone needs to get hit so damn hard you're not going to be denied. I got hit as hard as I got hit. Because I was supposed to be somebody else that I was at that moment. And that's the truth. That's the cold hard truth. I was supposed to be better than I was. And he said, I'm going to build you into the man I want you to be. And that's exactly what happened. And that's exactly what is continuing to happen in my life. That's what has to happen in yours. That's what has to happen to every single person. Especially men.
Sure. Hanging out with the boys is fun, doing some crazy shit. I'm all for a good time, bro, but... And, you know, there, there's times where you're more purpose-driven than others. There's times where things are, like... What was that? Like, it's not going to be just... Like, your whole life. Like, just, like, purpose. It's not going to be that your whole life. There's going to be times where it's more relaxed, where it's more... But you're still the man. You know, you know what I mean by that? Like... It just is what it is. There's times where you're like so in the purpose. Like you're just, you're moving mountains. You're making things happen. You're exactly who you're supposed to be. You're making a difference for God. You're making a difference for the world. And there's gonna be times more where you spend maybe more time with your family, which is another part of your purpose. More with friends, more having good times, bonfires, fire, in nature, everything else, all the good stuff. I've already lived many different lives in the same life, but like I've been purpose driven, crazy in my purpose. I've been, you know, all these things really have to do with the purpose, but like when it comes to the gym, like so in the gym and still in the gym, but I've had times in my life where I'm dating, I'm in relationships, I'm hanging out with friends all the time, I'm partying, um, everything else, I'm doing so many different things. I've already lived so many different experiences, and guess what? It's not done. There's going to be many more experiences. There's going to be many, many, many more hours, tens of thousands of hours into purpose. There's going to be many more hours doing different things that I've never even done before. 100%. And this is just what life is. Like, things come at certain times, guys for a reason to test us to push us forward into the people we're supposed to be and I genuinely believe sometimes people are tested in ways and they fail the tests you knew what you were supposed to do but you, you didn't you, 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 you didn't you did something else it wasn't the right move and it's not like you only get one shot. You'll be presented with something else, but when are you gonna pass that test where you finally say, you know what? Maybe I don't overly wanna do this and it's like, it's hard. It's causing me difficulties in my mind. It's flabbergasted in my mind. I don't really wanna do it. It's gonna get me out of my comfort zone to go to the gym, but guess what, motherfucker? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. That's what it's going to come down to, bro. Because when you start new things, when you do new things, you're not going to overly want to do it. It's not like, we're going to the water park today, honey. It's going to be amazing. It's not going to be that. It's not going to be so comfortable and exciting. And oh my God. No. But you got to do it. You got to do it. You gotta make yourself do it. Make yourself do it. That's what you have to do. You don't wanna show your face on social media? You don't wanna start doing videos? Yes, a lot, motherfucker. Do it. Do it. Practice as much as you want. You don't even have to start for the first time and post something. Practice, practice, practice. Sit your ass there until you can actually do it. That's what you have to do. You're gonna find these answers. When you start pushing it forward that, with that type of urgency and your life is gonna change. And it's not gonna happen just in a flick. Your life's not gonna change just in a flick. But as you keep going and as you keep getting better at what you're doing, you're gonna notice things are changing. I'm changing, I'm getting better. Things are feeling better. When you challenge yourself and you overcome and you actually do certain things and get certain results, it sparks life momentum inside of your mind, body, and soul. And you start to get these feelings that you've never felt for a very long time. It's this type of confidence that is unexplainable. 
And even in that, you're going to have a downtime again. It's not that you're going to feel that and it's going to be that every single day all the time. Guess what? You're going to have high moments and it's going to be like you're, you're really going up. Something else is going to bring you back down. And guess what? You're going to be tested again. This is what it takes to succeed, folks. This is what it takes to live in your purpose. To do the right things. You have to constantly be tested. Some painful experience is coming your way. You have to experience that and pass the test. And it is worth it. You're still going to feel pain regardless. So why not pass? Why not do it? When things present itself, why not do it? When things present itself, you must do it. That's the whole key. You don't, like, you're not the only one suffering, bro. You think you're the only one going through pain? I feel pain every single day of my life, at least to a small degree, some days to a larger degree. For what I put myself through, bro, are you kidding me? People don't do what I do in the gym. Most don't. Top percenters, yeah. Other than that, they're not working like I'm working in the gym, bro. No, they're not. Come with me then. Come, come with me. Come on. Come to the gym. We will find out. We will see if you think that. Let's go. <laughs> it's for real, bro. This shit is not exaggerated. It's exactly as advertised. It's exactly what you're hearing. That it is. It's what it is. You have to be bulletproof, bro. You have to be strong. You have to be damn near borderline psychotic in, in the best way possible. I said it before and I'll say it again. I have a screw loose. I know for a fact I'm doing things at such a level that most people are not. And I know that for a fact. And he is a top G of that house. <laughs> I know that for a fact. I know what I push myself to do. I know what I've done, and I know what I will continue to do, and it's not what no one else wants to do. Barely nobody. But it's what you must do. You must challenge yourself. You must continue to get better. You're always going to be faced with these little challenges. You must keep it going. You will be, you will be surprised at what you make happen. You will be surprised. And with that being said, as we wrap this up, and I hope you guys really understand the concept of this video. How important purpose is. It's very important. More than you'll ever know. One day you might. And with that being said, talk about being surprised. Talk about being shocked. Give me a minute. You guys are going to see something and your minds are going to be blown. It's coming. And it's coming quick. I'm excited. And you guys are all going to see it. As long as you're here on this channel. You're about to see it. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not even next week. But very soon. You'll see.